guys. Once again, I'm out on a mountain biking adventure. This time, I'm going the Greenbush, which is in the Kettle Moraine State Forest Northern Unit. I haven't been here since I was little, and from what I see, based on the maps, things have changed. All the colored trails are now cross-country ski and hiking trails. And now there's four mountain bike loops in the middle. So I'm really excited to try these out. Um, it could definitely be a lot different from what I remember when I mountain biked a little bit when I was a teenager. So let's check it out. It's gonna be awesome. Also, some other updates. My wife's bike didn't quite fit her right and didn't really feel like putting the money into it so I ended up selling it and we're going to use that money to hopefully get her a new one at some point that will fit her better. Especially at the, the price point that we're at. We're, we're pretty low. We're definitely under $1,000 for the stuff that we're buying because we're new to the sport and definitely not the richest people in the world. But someone came by last night and she seemed really happy to ride it. She loved the color. Um, her husband took a spin on it too just to make sure everything was all in working order, which of course it was. I fixed it all up. I, I adjusted everything to the best of my ability anyway make sure it was all tip-top for someone else to ride. The plan was at first to put new disc brakes on it so it would have a lot more stopping power for her. But we just decided to sell it instead. So I'm going to return the brakes and the hunt begins. Hopefully we can get her on the trail soon. So, coming from Oshkosh, we're going south of Highway 41, and we're going to hit Highway 23, Johnson Street. We go down for a ways, and eventually turn right at some street I currently can't remember the name of, and get to the trailhead. Let's do this. So I just realized it's 9.36 in the morning, and it's already 82 degrees and it seemed pretty humid, so today is going to be hot. You can kind of see the haze in the landscape just because of the heat and humidity. It is cloudy, so it won't be scorching in the sun, but it shouldn't matter too much because it will be in the woods basically the whole time. I don't think there's any parts that actually come out of the woods from what I read. Which hopefully are a plus. Yesterday at work, I uh, accumulated a few blisters from pulling cable. So that's what I do for a living. So I uh, busted out the new skin on my fingers. Uh, it's right on knuckles come on my uh, my left hand and they're they're burning pretty bad. But uh hopefully uh new skin does the trick. If it does, definitely keep using that stuff. I always just use it a long time ago. And uh yeah, it should be good. Got my camel back. I brought my wife's camel back, even though she's not coming with me, just to make sure I have enough water. So I should have about over a gallon of water. I got a couple of cliff bars so I can eat on the go. This is supposed to be, it says 7.3 miles from this loop. We do the featured ride on mountain bike projects. So you go on the outside of everything on the map. So you don't actually do the loops, you just go on the outside. So 
so wherever it connects, you just keep going around in a circle. So it's about 7.3 miles. Um, and I don't know what it's going to be like. So it's a little bit harder than intermediate. There should be some hills in there that are supposed to test your endurance and some tactical stuff. So we'll see how it goes. Um, just stoked to get back into this. Alright, just made it to Fond du Lac. Far. It's only 20 minutes from my place, basically. Definitely does not feel a part of the Vox Valley, even though it's close. You can definitely tell the difference between here, Oshkosh, um, Appleton, Needham, Nashville, Green Bay. It's a different vibe, different feels, but it's cool. So before, I haven't really mentioned that I have a Trek Excalibur 8, if anyone's wondering. Um, it's last year's model, got it in clearance. I love it. Um, and I've been wanting to possibly upgrade the pedals. I'm not really sure what brand to get. If anybody has any insight to that, it'd be really great if you could drop it in the comments below if this video ever reaches anybody that knows enough about mountain biking to, to let me know, that'd be awesome. So I'm just gonna keep trying to promote these videos. Um, so, if, you know, we can start some sort of community if possible. Um, and, you know, just get people to understand more about, you know, mountain biking in general and also mountain biking in Wisconsin. And, you know, coming from the Fox Valley, there really isn't a whole lot around. You have to drive around 45 minutes or more um, besides the few spots that are in metropolitan areas because um, there's like three trails um, total um, that I know of in Oshkosh, Appleton, and Green Bay that are all like inside the city itself. Um, so hopefully I can expose that more and uh, keep being a weekend warrior. Right, almost out of Fond du Lac, and we got another about 25 minute drive to Greenbush. Just took Spring Valley Drive, I turned right on that from 23, and now I'm on County T, which I just turned left on, and then I'll be turning on Kettle Moraine Drive. And then it will be on our right. You can kind of start seeing the hilly landscape. Kettle Moraine State Forest. Apparently, uh, I believe it was like glaciers and things like that that made this place look the way it does. It's pretty cool. Go. 